Hi everyone, in this problem we're going to prove that the limit as n approaches infinity of 2m plus 1 over 3m plus 7 is equal to 2 over 3 and we're going to do it using the actual uh, definition. So I'll write it up here up top. So recall that when we say the limit as n approaches infinity of a sub n is equal to l, this is equivalent to, in other words, the definition of the statement is for all epsilon greater than zero, there exists, so we can find some positive integer, so some n that lives inside the set of positive integers. So for every epsilon greater than zero, there exists a capital N, which is a positive integer, such that uh, for all little n greater than capital N, we can make the distance between a sub n and l small. How small? As small as we like. Smaller than epsilon for all epsilon. So because it's for all epsilon, we can make them uh, make, make their distance uh, small. In other words, they get really close to each other. Right? When the distance between two numbers is small, that means the two numbers are close. Okay, so there's two parts to this proof. Well, there's one part to the proof, but we actually have to figure it out. <laughs> I have not done this problem yet. So this first part, which we'll do, is the scratch work. I'm just going to figure the problem out, show you how I figure it out, and then write a formal proof. So we want um, this to be true. We need to find an n such that this is true. So we need 2n plus 1 over 3n plus 7 minus two-thirds, we want this to be less than epsilon. So the natural thing to do here is to actually perform the subtraction. So this is the same thing as, let's see, we need to find an LCD, right? So I'm going to multiply this one by 3 over 3. Then we have 2n plus 1 over 3n plus 7 minus, and then I'm going to multiply the other one by 3n plus 7 over 3m plus 7. You see this way uh, we're multiplying by 1 in clever ways so that we can do this. We can write everything under 3 times 3m plus 7. So up top we'll have 3 times 2n plus 1 over 3 3n plus 7. I'm showing a lot of extra steps here. Minus 2 3n plus 7 over 3, 3m plus 7. And you see now we have the same denominator, so we can perform the subtraction going kind of fast through, this, through the scratch work. Uh, 3 times 6, uh, 3 times 2n is 6n. This will be 6n plus 3 minus, and then this will be minus 6n, oh how nice, minus 14. And this is all being divided by 3, 3n plus 7. All right, what do we have here? This is equal to, so the six ends cancel, so we have the absolute value of negative 11 over 3, parentheses, 3n plus 7. And uh, we can drop all the absolute values here, everything, well, we can get rid of the negative 11, so it'll make it 11, and this is 3, 3n plus 7. We want this to be less than epsilon, so it'd be nice if we can get rid of this 7, and we can, we can just do this, less than 11 over 3 times 3n. And you can do that because um, this fraction here on the left is smaller than this one, because this one has an extra number on the bottom, it has a plus 7, right? So the bottom is bigger here on the left, so that's why we're able to do that. Um, I guess this is going to be uh, 11 over 9n, and we want this to be uh, less than epsilon. So now we're going to work backwards and solve for n. So multiplying by 9n on both sides, we have 11 less than epsilon times 9n. Dividing by 9 epsilon, so that will give us, let me just go ahead and show you the division, so you see it to be a little bit extra cautious here at the end. 11 over 9 epsilon. That's less than n. 
In other words, we need an n greater than 11 over 9 epsilon. So if we choose an n, if we can come up with a natural number bigger than this, we're good. We're allowed to do that using something called the Archimedean principle or Archimedean property, which says given any real number, you can find a number that's bigger. In particular, you can find a natural number or a positive integer that's actually bigger than any real number. Okay, so 11 over 9 epsilon, that's what we're aiming for. So let's go ahead and go through our proof. So proof. Now, I erased the original question, so I'm going to write it again. I don't have it written down, so I have to scroll up. 2n plus 1, 3n plus 7. So we have to show that the limit as n approaches infinity of 2n plus 1 over 3n plus 7. We said this was 2 thirds. Okay. So in the definition, it starts with, you know, for all epsilon. Right here, you see it. For all epsilon greater than 0. Let me go ahead and write it down again so I can reference it as we go through the proof. So the definition was for all epsilon greater than zero, there exists a positive integer n such that for all little n bigger than capital N, the distance between a sub n and L is less than epsilon. Okay, so we have to start our proof by letting epsilon be greater than zero. So let epsilon be greater than zero. That takes care of that part. And now we have to show the existence of n. Well, we can choose, by the Archimedean principle, an integer n such that n is greater than 11 over 9 epsilon. And, I, and I'm saying this in words, and if you're doing this for like a class, you might want to write it, but this expression makes sense here because epsilon is greater than 0. And, and we're choosing n that's an integer. So again, I'm saying it in words, if you were doing this for like a, a test or a homework assignment, You'd probably want to say choose an integer n by the Archimedean principle, etc. Then, so we've satisfied that part. Now this part here, for all little n bigger than capital N, we have to look at the difference. We have to look at 2n plus 1 over 3n plus 7 minus 2 thirds. And we have to show that this is less than epsilon. Let's go ahead and do it. Let's go ahead and, and try to reproduce what we did in a more elegant fashion. So this is equal to, so we know the LCD is going to be 3 times 3n plus 7. Let's do the fast subtraction. So it's whatever is here, so 2n plus 1 times what's missing to get the LCD, 3 minus 2 and then times what's missing to get the what's missing here to get the LCD 3n plus 7. So a fast way to subtract. Again, it's whatever is here times what's missing, you're missing the 3, minus whatever is here times what's missing, you're missing the 3n plus 7. I don't know why I didn't do it this way um, the first time. I just, just decisions. <laughs> this is equal to the absolute value. So 3 times 2n is 6n, and 3 times 1 is 3. And then here, 2 times 3n is minus 6n, and then 2 times 7 is 14. This is all being divided by, down here we have uh, 3 times 3n plus 7. So, this is equal to, well, these cancel just like before, we're just basically repeating the steps. Negative 11 over 3, 3n plus 7. And I feel like repeating the steps is important. A lot of people don't do it, but like, you know, if whoever is looking at your work can't read your scratch work, I mean, this, this, just, this just comes out of nowhere. Um, so it's helpful to show the work. We can drop the absolute value now and get rid of the negatives. This is 11 over 3 times 3n plus 7. And this is less than, just like before, 11 over 3 times 3n, which is less than 11 over, which is equal to, sorry, which is equal to 11 over 9n. I'm just rewriting it 3 times 3n. So again, this step here was for the same reason, right? We This inequality is true because this fraction on the left has a bigger denominator, so it's a smaller fraction. And so now we're here. And so now uh, we're going to use this. We're going to use this to really clarify it. So I'm going to come to the side and say note. So now I'm going to reverse engineer it. Watch this. So little n is bigger than capital N. So little n is bigger than capital N, which is bigger than 11 over 9 epsilon. 
See that? See how I did that? Because this is true, and then this is true also. So now I'm gonna we're gonna solve this for 11 over 9n. So how? Um, I'm gonna write it again, like this for extra clarity. Greater than 11 over 9 epsilon. So multiplying by epsilon and dividing by n, we get epsilon greater than 11 over 9n. Semicolon, it est 11 over 9n is less than epsilon. Thus, let's reiterate what we just did. We have this, so we have the absolute value of 2n plus 1 over 3n plus 7 minus two-thirds and then we have a series of steps and we know that's less than take the strongest inequality right 11 over 9n and we just showed in the line above that this is less than epsilon and that completes the proof right we've shown that the limit is equal to two-thirds we've satisfied the definition right we've satisfied the definition we've satisfied this last piece so structure is important um, and again, if you know this, how 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 do you get this? You you work backwards, and it's part of your scratch work. So, a, a lot of people again don't do this step. I, I think it's important to do it. You know, you want to, you want to say less than epsilon by scratch work. No, it's it's good to go back and, and justify it. It's really nice and elegant, and I think it it helps your proof writing skills, and that completes the proof. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.